scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Great and awesome God, working wonders in the midst of his people. Someone lift your hands, lift your voices and give him all the praise. Give him all the praise, give him all the glory. Majesty, we worship you. Miracle Walker, we worship you. Destiny Changer, we worship you. Bless his name for redemption. Bless his name for salvation. Bless his name for deliverance. Bless his name for healing. Bless his name for opening new seasons. Bless his name for giving you a testimony. Bless his name for joy, for peace, for advancement. Bless his name because mountains will be moved tonight. Bless his name because destinies will be rewritten tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, the discernment to receive my portion, I receive by faith. Go ahead and pray. The discernment to receive my portion. Someone is praying. The discernment to receive my portion. The discernment to receive my portion. Jacob said, the Lord was in this place and I knew not. Surely the Lord was in this place to do good in this place to lift but I knew not pray for discernment sensitivity in the spirit to receive your word when it comes to engage your word when it comes to profit from your word when it comes God is here to do you good but you must be sensitive to engage In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Father, a man can receive nothing except it is given unto him of God. We're gathered here multitudes on ground and many, many others from across the globe. We're gathered as proof that we trust you. We're gathered as proof that you are dependable. We're gathered as proof that all power belongs to you. We're gathered as proof that seasons can end. We're gathered as proof that new seasons can begin. We're gathered as proof that deliverance can happen. We're gathered as proof that you are still a lifter, that you are still a rewriter of stories and destinies. We're gathered tonight because we believe that you are still the joy giver that you are still in the business of turning mornings to dancings, sorrows to joy, giving people new songs and giving them hope. Therefore, Lord, we release our faith tonight and we pray that you will do in us and do with us as you please. In the name of Jesus, move in power, move in wisdom. Let burdens be lifted tonight. Let destinies be transformed. In the name of Jesus, let no one listening, following, or here present return back the way they came. 
For in Jesus' name we pray and together let's shout a believing amen. Turn to two or three people, tell them God bless you, you are in for a mighty experience. God bless you, you are in for a mighty experience. A life changing one, a destiny defining one. Is someone blessing the Lord and blessing your neighbor, you are in for an experience. In the name of Jesus, please be gloriously seated. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I welcome you on behalf of Jesus himself, the head of the church, the head of this commission, to our miracle service for the month of June. Give Jesus a big hand clap. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is a house that has been ordained by God to be a place of encounters ordained by God to be a platform for supernatural solutions. Many have traveled from across the globe. I can give you an assurance as touching the integrity of God. You will not be disappointed. If anything you will be, he will exceed your expectations. In the name of Jesus. And so I welcome everyone. Let me take the moment again to welcome all our international guests. Thank you so much for traveling across the globe to be here. We honor you. And um, we thank all our expressions across the globe connecting. Thank you so very much. The many who are following online, the Lord will do you good in Jesus' name. It's my honor to introduce and appreciate a few persons who have come to worship with us tonight. Um, I'd like us to please honor um, Her Excellency, the former Vice President of Liberia, Dr. Mrs. Joel Taylor. God bless you. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. We honor your presence. Please be seated, Ma. May God bless you. In a similar vein, I want us to really bless and honor a man that I love, a man that I greatly respect, His Excellency, um, Mr. Emmanuel Udom, the immediate past governor of Akwaiba. May God bless you, sir. Thank you. Hallelujah. And then help me honor our very own Professor John Kennedy. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Such an honor in the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. This is a house of honor, and um, we thank you, sirs, Mars, for your time with us. It will always be an unforgettable experience. Are you ready for tonight? Psalms 14 and verse 7. God is determined and he's insistent that you must smile tonight. You must see the joy of the Lord at work in your life. The Bible says, oh, that the salvation of Israel were to come out of Zion. The salvation of Israel always comes out of Zion. It is the salvation of his people, but there is a place where it comes out of. The healing of his people his Israel, it comes out of Zion. The lifting of his people comes out of Zion. The psalmist was praying and he said, send thee help from his sanctuary. God is everywhere, but he does not visit people everywhere. God is everywhere. He is omnipresent, but he does not visit people everywhere. There are people, there are places that by covenant, have been consecrated and ordained of God and by God to be the place for encounters. Are we together? In Genesis 28, the Bible says Jacob came to a place called Luz, a place that had been consecrated by his father Abraham. And the Bible says that when he came, I mean his grandfather now, he found that place and he lay to sleep and he had an encounter because there was a consecration upon that ground hallelujah and so God has granted us the privilege and he has made this house one of those platforms to serve his grace to the nations and to bring supernatural extraordinary solutions I assure you again by God that you are in for an unforgettable encounter that everything that followed you here that is inconsistent with the provisions of redemption, inconsistent with the character of Christ, you will watch it as it drops finally. Yeah. Are there believers in this place? You will watch it as it drops finally. Yeah. For no matter how long it's hung on to your life and destiny, at the instance of God's word, it will drop finally. Yeah. 
the Bible says it is for freedom that Christ has set us free hallelujah it is for the intent of freedom that Christ has set us free in the name of Jesus Christ All right so just a charge and then we'll be praying we're going to pray tonight and God will grant us grace and I trust God that there would be an avalanche of great testimonies in Jesus name the first thing I want you to know tonight as I prepare your heart to receive is that supernatural answers and solutions do not just appear they are received supernatural answers and solutions to any and every problem they do not just appear they are received if you find anyone with an answered prayer it did not just appear they received it are we together as simple as this thought is i want you to think very deeply that supernatural solutions and answers do not just appear whether it is healing whether it is breakthrough whether it is favor whether it is deliverance if you ever find any believer experiencing the goodness the power of god it is not just because it appeared is because it was received are we together now and the Bible lets us know that one of the major platforms for receiving from God is prayer. Prayer is one of the platforms that were designed by the intelligence of God himself to afford the saints opportunity to receive from him. Mark eleven twenty four 24 says, um, Verily, verily, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, what things soever ye desire, it says, when ye pray in prayer, believe that ye receive them and thou shalt have them, not without prayer. So prayer is a platform for receiving and making promises manifest. Are we learning now? Everything from setting the captives free healing the sick delivering the oppressed granting prosperity receiving help of all sorts from god bringing negative seasons and circles to an end reintroducing new ones that have been stopped by satan all of them are answered prayers supernatural solutions but i'm saying that they cannot just appear they must be received i want to give you four keys as i prepare your heart i want to teach you how to receive because many believers do not know how to receive. They want to receive. They intend to receive. Hallelujah. As I run through this list, you will find out why many people never really receive from God. In spite of the availability of his presence and his power. The Bible says, as Jesus taught, the power of God was present to heal. But some were healed and some were not. So it was not the absence of his power. Are you ready now? Number one, the first thing you need to understand in receiving from God is that all lasting help comes from God and God alone. Write that down, please. All lasting help comes from God and God alone. You will never receive anything from God when you, are, you have many options. God and other things. God and other people. God and other idols, God and other men that make themselves demigod. The condition for receiving from God demands number one, first and foremost, that you must believe consciously that all lasting, all lasting help comes from God and God alone. Psalm 121 verse 1. Very quickly, 121 verse 1. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. And it says, from whence cometh my help? Verse 2, let's read together. One to read. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. My help, not our help. I don't know where you get yours from. But my help cometh from the Lord, which made the heavens and the earth. God is a maker. It's not only the heavens and the earth he made. He can make destinies. He can make families. He's a maker. Are we together now? Very important. Psalm 60, 11 and verse 12. All lasting help comes from God and God alone. Psalm 60, 11 and 12. Give us help from trouble. It says, for vain is the help of man. Are you reading that? Give us help from trouble. 
a man is praying unto the God of the Bible for vain is the help of man verse 12 it says though it says through God we shall do valiantly for it is he that tread down our enemies someone say help me Lord shout it like you believe say help me Lord one more time say help me Lord hallelujah in 2nd Kings chapter 5 very interesting story we'll read from verse 5 to 7 the Bible talks about the man called Naaman are we together that that man was a valiant man he was a captain of the army under Syria and he was leprous and one time they captured a slave girl who served his wife and she said oh that this man would go to Israel that there is a prophet there that will cure him from that infirmity are we together when we get to verse 5 word got to the king of Syria that such a possibility was available and the king of Syria wrote a letter to the king of Israel and he departed he took all those treasures and when Naaman got to Israel verse 6 the Bible says he brought the letter to the king of Israel. Watch what the king of Syria wrote. He said, when this letter was come to him, behold, I have therewith sent Naaman my servant unto thee, that thou mightest recover him from his leprosy. The king was afraid. Verse 7. And it came to pass when the king of Israel had read the letter, that he rent his clothes and said, am I God to kill and make alive? Am I God that this man doth send me to recover a man of his leprosy? So even though he was king, he acknowledged that there are things that only God can do. Are we together? The king sent a letter, make sure that Naaman returns back well. And he said, this man is only using leprosy to cause another trouble again. Let me tell you the truth. There are things that men can do. They are not miracles. You don't clap for me for walking. It is natural to walk. It is human to walk. It's not supernatural when I cry. It is human to cry. But there are things only God can do. That looks like what God is doing tonight. Shout amen. amen. Shout a louder believing amen. amen. There are things men cannot do. There are things only God can do. Many of us are here tonight to encounter things only God can do. You left men at home, but you have come to God because men are great, but they are very limited. Even if you are the king of Israel, when it has to do with the business of curing Naaman, only the God of heaven, I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus. What men have tried to do sincerely so and could not be done, today may the God of Israel, the real king of Zion, may he do it cheaply in your life. May he do it cheaply to your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 127, 1 and 2. All lasting help comes from God and God alone. Read with me. 1, 2. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Uh -huh. Except the Lord watch or keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. Verse 2. It says, it is vain for you to rise up early and to sleep late only to eat the bread of sorrow for so he giveth his beloved sleep you want to receive from god tonight look beyond joshua selman you want to receive from god tonight look beyond koinonia we are vessels but he is the god of heaven they looked unto him and the bible says their faces were lightened there is no disappointment when you look unto him is someone hearing you heard the testimonies it looks like it is men producing the testimonies but every man knows that you are incapacitated if you ever have the power to extend the possibilities of God it is because God by mercy has granted you that grace are we learning number two the second thing you must know if you want to receive from God is that God is a loving father and a giver who desires the well-being and the joy of his children a long statement but i will repeat it you need to get this in addition to knowing that all help comes from god you must be conscious of the fatherhood of god that god is a loving father and he's also a giver 
I told you that the hallmark of fatherhood is not bearing children. According to scripture, the hallmark of fatherhood is the ease to give. If you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more your heavenly father, are we together? Will give the Holy Spirit and Mark chapter 7 and verse 11 says give good things, good things, good things. God is a loving father and a giver who desires the well-being and the joy of his children. So don't ask tonight, does God want to heal me? It's an insult on the fatherhood of God. Don't ask if God wants me to rise. Don't ask if God is happy that I am poor. Are we together now? Everything that is inconsistent with the character of true fatherhood, you must contend that it changes in your life. God is a good God. God is a loving father. He is also a giver. Romans chapter 8 and verse 32. I like this. Romans 8.32. The fatherhood of God. Romans 8.32. Media help us please. Romans chapter 8 and 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. He says, how shall he not with him also give us freely? How many things? Shout it. Say all things. That includes healing. Say all things. That includes restoration. Say all things. That for your sake, God did not spare Jesus. For your sake, when Jesus cried and said, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, Father, with all the love you have for me, you still turn your face. He said, I love you, but for the sake of man, I will sacrifice you. If he gave Jesus, is it a healing he will not give you? If he gave Jesus, is it a lifting he will not give you? If he gave Jesus, is it ending yokes of curses and delay that he will not bring? You must be conscious of the fatherhood of God. It matters that you know who the... Listen, your confidence is based on the awareness of the benevolence of the person you are pleading to help you. Are we together now? If you hear that, go and collect 20,000 from this man. The first question you ask is, is he a giver? Is he used to giving? Who did he give to? How easily did he give? Ah, no, 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 this man, he will give you anything, including his heart, and you will go with confidence. Sir, please help me. I hear you like helping men. But there are a few people, if they say collect five naira from them, you say, no, I'll go and walk. This man does not give anything. God is a giver. The proof that he's a giver is that he did not spare Jesus. Are we together now? He did not spare Jesus. He would have given one angel or given whatever. He said, Jesus, you are my son. You are God. But because of the love I have for man, you will die. And not even the tears of Jesus changed his mind. That's how determined he is. I'm praying for you. You will experience the fatherhood of God tonight. Listen, let faith rise in your spirit. Because some of you, as you are listening to me now, you will check that pain and see that it's gone. God is a giver. Did you hear me? God is a giver. Whether you are inside, outside, all the overflows, connecting online. God is a good father and he's a giver. He's not a cruel person rejoicing that you are not able to pay rent. You are a father with five children. How does it give him glory that you are incapacitated? Everything that insults the fatherhood of God in the world of men must become your project tonight. Are we together? By the privilege of God's grace, I have many people under my care that I take care of. I've taken care of them for years. I have the honor of contributing uh, to communities. And I know how responsible I feel over those that I have the privilege to take care of. When they call me and say, Daddy, they've increased our school fees. I won't get angry at them. It's not their fault. If you have assumed the position of Abba, it comes with that responsibility are we together there has never been anybody I recall under my care and fatherhood who come maybe they increase my rent and they increase school fees and I say you must be stupid it's not the fault of the person that's why he's the son and you are the father so when you come before God and say God look what is happening I cannot pay my rent that's why I'm coming to you let me tell you, every time you believe God, you put pressure on his fatherhood. 
that because you have trusted him who am i speaking to that you traveled all the way you didn't just come to meet joshua selman you came to meet your father and your father is the king of zion he's a mighty god father most people do not receive because they do not know who is giving them they when it has to do with receiving from god you don't think him as god it's a family affair the prodigal son remembered that he had a father and he said no matter how far i have gone my father may be a ceo of a company but i'm not going to a ceo i will arise and go to my father if you go to the warrior you will not receive anything the warrior fights he does not show compassion are we together now god is a warrior but tonight he's chosen to be father in other words he's saying my child let me hear from you again what did you say has been threatening your joy from january till june and you say god almighty my biological father just died this year and i'm the first out of eight children there is no way i can rise vain is the help of men i have come to you and he says step back since you have called me father let me show you what a good father does i've tasted of the fatherhood of god let me tell you he's a faithful father there are many fathers here it becomes an insult on your reputation if they find your children roaming around the street are you not the child of so 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 and so he said yes sir where is your father that is allowing you to do this there are certain people because of the status of their parents the children never have to go through certain things again am i right on that when others are queuing the father can hold them because he owns the company I've seen children, I've seen people come to look for a CEO and they are waiting at the reception and the child of that man will run and push them and open the door. No secretary, no PA. He did not come to see a CEO. He came to see father. Everybody's trying to behave himself to get the job. Let me conduct myself before I lose the job. And the boy comes. Not disrespectful but confident. And he opens the door and says, Daddy, I'm hungry. And what they labor to prepare in the kitchen, he says, My son, sit down and eat. You want to receive from God? You must know that you are not receiving from one of those deities. God is not just a better deity than other demons. Christianity is the only faith practice where God relates to men as father. Every other faith practice demands obeisance and demands meeting God as a stranger. You are not even sure you may die in the process. But he's chosen to draw us. He calls us sons. He calls us children. He doesn't just call us citizens or members. It is true that he is king. It is true that he is warrior. But he is father. Someone say father. That is a name that is a very expensive name. We live in a world where people assume that name. That name comes with enormous responsibility. When you ever assume the name Father, that means I have accepted the responsibility of seeing to the welfare of that child. The prodigal son's father sat down. He said, even though my son has misbehaved, but I am father, will I leave that boy that way? Do you know the prodigal son did not meet him at home? In my opinion, if the prodigal son met the boy at home, we will have a right to query the man because he has an advantage of age and experience. As the prodigal son was looking for him, he was also looking for his son. They met somewhere and the man never spoke to him about what he did. The Bible says while he was a great way off, the father saw him and had what? Compassion. And saw him and fell on his neck and kissed him and said my son let's go you are smelling but you are still my son you are lean you've lost weight but you are still my son most likely sick you need to see a doctor but you are still my son I will hold you and cross the rivers with you if people look at you and say is this not the boy that we knew years ago living a riotous life he will say it is a family affair it's not you he offended I am the father it is a family affair he didn't offend the community i'm the one he offended and if i've chosen to hold him back home then who can lay a charge against god's elect 
Are we together? Is someone learning? Someone say, I receive. I receive. We receive by having the consciousness of the fatherhood of God. I tell you, if you understand these principles I'm sharing with you, you will begin to see miracles already happening. Because when the revelation of the fatherhood of God hits you, doubt and fear will go. Hallelujah. We have our children here. I always make that example. For many of our children, their service starts after the grace. They are just waiting to share the grace so they stand behind. I hug every single one of them and sometimes give them gifts before I start attending to people. Do you know why? Because they are children and they are happy. They've never been conscious of whether they are dressing well or not. It's none of their business. As soon as the grace is done, they run and they stand happily. A big hug and sometimes they ask me to bring down my ears. They want to tell me something. I am your apostle, but that one is father. They are not talking to a man of God. Bend your ears. There's something I want to tell you. I just wrote my exams and I passed. And I said, you mean it? You passed? Find something and give them. There are, listen, with God, there are no illegitimate children. Are we together now? With God, there are no illegitimate children. Provided you come to Jesus, he receives you. Are we together now? Presents you to the Father and like him, you are called son. So he is the firstborn among we, the begotten. Are we learning? James 1 and verse 5. James chapter 1 and verse 5. He said, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God that give it to all men liberally. Liberally. A version, I think NIV says graciously. Or is it the English standard version or thereabout? Graciously, generously. God does not just give carelessly. Yeah. He gives graciously and he gives generously. That means when you say, God, I'm hungry. You better be prepared for what you receive because he gives according to his riches according to his riches even for strangers he commands the rain to fall upon the just and the unjust talk less dealing with those that is a family affair everybody say god is my father one more time say god is my father so whether it's healing whether it's deliverance whether it's open doors you are approaching abba pata the source, sustainer, protector, defender. Number three, the third key to receiving from God. Are you ready? We receive answers from God. Listen, first by asking in prayer. I'm teaching you the laws of receiving. We receive answers from God first in prayer. You cannot receive from God outside of prayer. We receive from God by asking in prayer. We receive from God first by asking in prayer. Psalms 34 and verse 17. We receive from God by asking and that in prayer. Psalm 34, 17. We receive from God by asking in prayer let's work together media can we get psalm 34 and verse 17 the righteous cry and the lord hear it and delivereth them out of how many say all the righteous cry and the lord hear it the righteous cry the psalmist said if i cherished iniquity in my heart the lord would not hear me when i pray but here it is he says the righteous cry and the lord hear it and deliver them out of all their troubles we receive answers from God by asking in prayer mark Matthew 7 and verse 8 Matthew chapter 7 and verse 8 Matthew 7 and verse 8 for everyone that asketh receiveth there is a guarantee that provided you ask you will receive he never said everyone in need will receive you have to verbalize your need, vocalize your need by asking in prayer. Everyone that asketh 
receive it. Can I give you two more scriptures? First John 5, 14 and 15. A beautiful worship team sang it. First John 5, 14 and 15. And this is the confidence that we have in him that if, 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 if we ask anything, if we ask healing according to his will, if we ask for lifting according to his will, if we ask for open doors, restoration according to his will, my Bible, your Bible says, he heareth us. Next verse. It says, and if we know that he heareth us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. John chapter 16 and verse 24. He says, he that told you have asked nothing in my name. He says, ask and ye shall receive. Are you seeing it now? Now, most believers have needs, but they do not know that asking is the seed for receiving. Ye have not because ye ask not. He says, he that told you have asked for nothing, ask and ye shall receive that your joy may be full. Is someone ready to ask? We receive answers from God first by asking. First by asking. First by asking. Mark eleven twenty four. What things soever ye desire. We read it earlier on. When ye pray, believe that thou receivest them and ye shall have them. Whatsoever things ye desire. When you pray, asking in prayer. Someone say, I will ask. Go ahead, say, I will ask. When it's time to pray, don't keep quiet. Regardless the kind of anointing present, don't be silent. Regardless the ministry of angels, don't be silent. And don't ask for some and leave some. The Bible says, what things soever. If it's a job, ask it. Give me this day my daily bread. Your daily bread is not food. It's everything that makes for your sufficiency and efficiency. And it says God gives it daily, not monthly. Daily. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power. And your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. I receive, I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus. Can I tell you, if you are not willing to ask, if you are ashamed of asking, even in the world of men, you will never receive. Am I right on that? For everyone that asketh, receive it. Tonight is a night to ask. Tonight is a night to ask. Don't just say, Father, visit me generally. That is careless asking. You ask with intelligence. Are we together? Let this plague, oh God, mention it. Plague of crying. I see things just when I want to receive them, they evaporate. Let it end. Everyone that asks it. Why is it that people vow that I will, I will visit you? Call me on Thursday. You call by Thursday morning. They say, I can't remember calling you. If you call me again, I'll, you'll go to jail. And you're saying, sir, but on Monday we spoke. I can't remember you. Your space has been taken by another. Tonight is the time to ask. Lord, what is this, this disfavor hanging around my life? You are father. When you wanted a colt that no man had ridden on. Listen, let me tell you the truth. Tonight's miracle service, if you open up your heart, you will be surprised what God will do. Lega perete ke parada, 
someone who is tired of where they are listen someone who tonight is not the night to allow things continue oh so this is the key i have been desiring but not been asking I've been desiring but not been asking I've been wishing wishing is not asking no wishing is not asking having a strong desire is important but it is not asking you are only entitled to receive when you ask Lord show me favor Jabez said oh that thou wouldest bless me Jabez would have said look at what my mother did for me that is not asking that is complaining and that's how many of you have approached God God, look at what is happening in Nigeria. I understand, I sympathize, but that is not asking. Father, you said the increase of the field is for all and that even the king is served. In the name of Jesus, I place a demand on my portion. My portion in Nigeria, my portion in Europe, my portion in America. You are Father, the earth is the Lord, that my portion be delivered to me. That my portion be delivered to me you are a god of portions there is a rehoboth attached a rehoboth for me my portion be delivered to me we receive from god first by asking first by asking let me give you a minute to ask for something before we continue I shouldn't tell you what to ask. You know where the pain is, ask. You know where the disappointment is, ask. You know where the discouragement is, ask. You know where the confusion is, ask. You know where the defeat is, ask. You know where the limitations are, ask. Unto thee that hearest prayer, shall all flesh come someone ask ask in faith you are asking Abba you are asking Pata the giver of all good things we receive answers from God by asking in prayer by asking in prayer by placing a demand specific demands in prayer there are rules to answers hallelujah please be seated with your faith rising be seated with anger holy anger in your spirit be seated as one who is prepared to receive hmm. number four these are secrets to receiving answers secrets to receiving solutions you must believe that all lasting help comes from God and God alone. You must believe that God is a loving father and he's a giver who desires the well-being and the joy of his children. You must know that we receive answers from God first by asking in prayer. No assumptions. Asking in prayer. Are you ready for number four? Listen carefully. The physical delivery or manifestation of our answers happens primarily through the ministry of men. The physical delivery or manifestation of our answers happens primarily through the ministry of men. If you don't know this, you will hear yes in the spirit and it will never manifest as yes. There is a difference between receiving and having. Receiving is a spiritual reality. It is by faith in prayer. But having means the experiential manifestation of your desire. And I'm saying when you have received in the spirit, the physical delivery or manifestation of our answered prayers happens primarily through the ministry of men. You need to know this. This is the reason why in spite of the fact that God is the God of all heavens, you are gathered today, the ministry of men. That means the total recipe for receiving results is the God factor plus the man factor he has anointed and ordained. It does not just stop at God. 
are we together now and there are two kinds of men you receive from number one they are called vessels ordained by God like men of God number two they are called helpers of destiny take note these are the two kinds of men primarily whose ministry affects your manifesting answered prayers number one vessels ordained by God vessels ordained by God are we learning now that the physical delivery the manifestation of our answered prayers happens primarily through the ministry of men and I'm teaching you that there are two kinds of these ministries of men number one vessels ordained by God how do they sponsor that manifestation by speaking over your life by bringing prophetic instructions first Samuel chapter 1 please I like this first Samuel chapter 1 we're reading from verse 10 perhaps for the sake of time we might just jump now the Bible tells us about the man Elkanah and he said he had two wives are we together Hannah and Penina one had children and the other was barren the Bible says she was in bitterness of soul watch how she received the miracle that she Hannah now was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept so very quickly let's run it says and she vowed a vow and said "O Lord of hosts if that will look upon the affliction of your handmaid and not forget your handmaid and give me a man child are you seeing now she didn't just ask for a baby she said I desire a man child then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life and there shall no razor be upon his head in other words you'll be consecrated to serve the Lord next verse the Bible says it came to pass as she continued praying are you seeing prayer there now asking in prayer Eli marked her mouth he saw her moving her mouth Hannah spake in her heart and her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. So Eli the prophet thought she was drunk. 14. Eli said unto her, How long will you be drunk, madam? We've advised you people, all these church members, stay away from wine. Are we together? That's what he was saying. He was rebuking her. Verse 15. This is what she said. Hannah answered and said, No, my Lord, you are, you are in a mistake. I'm not, I'm not, this is not a woman who is drunk. I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but I have poured out my soul before the Lord. Verse 16. It says, count not your handmaid for a daughter of Belial, for out of the abundance of my complaint and grief, I have spoken hitherto. What a woman. Watch the power of the prophetic. Watch the power of ordained vessels. Verse 17. And Eli answered and said, are you seeing the ministry of men? She had received in prayer, but it had not manifested. He said, go in peace and the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. You would think because she was done praying, if she had just left like that, Samuel will never come. Eli said, I have a role to play. I am an ordained vessel. You want to have that baby? Let me speak over your life. Go in peace and the God of Israel grant thee thy petition. Go to verse 20. Jump to verse 20 because of time. Verse 20. Wherefore it came to pass when the time had come about after Hannah had conceived that she bare a son and she called his name Samuel. Help me. Saying because I have asked him of the Lord. This is why I got the child. She named him Samuel, reason that I have asked of the Lord, routed through an ordained vessel, God has answered me. For someone, your Samuel is arriving. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm saying it to you physically and prophetically, your Samuel is arising. Ordained vessels, ordained vessels, ordained vessels. In John chapter 5, when you read from verse 5 to 11, popular story, Jesus again at Bethesda. A certain man was there who had an infirmity, 30 and 8 years, remember? And the Bible says, Jesus saw that he had been there a long time. And he said unto him, will thou be made whole? Next verse, he says, I have no man. This is the problem of the man. 
I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another person who has a man to help him will step in before me. Verse 8, and Jesus said unto him, since you have no man, I have come as the son of man. Rise up, take your bed and walk. The Bible says, verse 9, it says immediately the man was made whole and he took up his bed and walked and on the same Sabbath day are you seeing that now and the Bible says the Jews therefore said this and that they started complaining final verse 11 and he answered them he that made me whole said to me take up thy bed and move there is the ministry of ordained vessels in your manifesting answered prayers and in the name of Jesus Christ, we stand tonight as privileged ordained vessels. That is the reason why I have confidence that that which leaves the mouth of God in the name of Jesus, as it gets to us, we will shoot it like an arrow into your destiny. Yeah. Ordained vessels. Number two, the second kinds of men, helpers of destiny. I've taught it here, Acts chapter 3 and verse 2. The man who was at gate beautiful. The Bible says a certain man lame from his mother's womb. I've taught it here. But for the sake of those who are just coming. The Bible says that man was carried. He didn't tell us the name of those who carried him. But the man was carried and they laid him daily. Meaning they carried him and returned him back. They carried him and returned him back. If that man was not carried, Peter and John will not meet him. The reason why Peter and John could meet him was that certain helpers of destiny were not exhausted carrying him every day. It takes an anointing for a man to keep helping you continually. They would have been tired and said, you are a heavy man, you are an impotent man, and you are crippled, all kinds of things are wrong with you this is the last time we're carrying you after we drop you today we have tried can I tell you the helpers of your destiny if ordained by God they never get tired of the helping you when men begin to get tired helping you maybe brook charity is getting dried you need to pray and say Lord where is the next place that help should continue but if a man is ordained by God to help you I tell you he will never truly get weary they may complain but that anointing will refire compassion in them again are we together so my job as an ordained vessel of God is to midwife the arrival of your miracle while prophesying over you that as you leave this place the destiny helper positioned so don't be surprised that as soon as we're sharing the grace mysterious calls are coming and someone is saying where are you we've been calling you for the last one hour where are you where are you we wanted to help your father but now that he's gone we agreed as a board that you are the one we will help do you believe this yes all blessings come from god through men now if you put your trust in men you will be disappointed but men will remain channels for your receiving are we learning now the experiential manifestation of everything you are praying for for instance many by faith as we have prayed you have received your healing but the physical manifestation has not happened just spare me a few minutes and watch the power of ordained vessels that in a moment with one prophetic word that devil that pain whatever it is that you call it maybe you came here with some crutch unable to walk and with one prophetic word you will find strength ankle to your I mean strength to your ankles and limbs and you will throw that thing away and stand some demonic thing I I, I, I once prayed for someone they said once the Sun is setting he starts behaving like a lunatic so they chain him true story they tie him somewhere in the room he you know how animals maybe ah how animals that's how he keeps shouting there they would tie him until the next morning then he will be fine once it is evening that is Satan for you 
if you came with anybody who is not all right in the name that is above all names as i'm speaking now because there are angels here there are supernatural activities i'm praying already let the word for healing let the word for restoration in the name of jesus like a tornado from heaven let it fall upon all those who have need of it let it fall upon all those who have need of it let it fall upon all those who have need of it in the name of jesus christ can i tell you this um most people bypass this protocol in desiring the ministry of men you don't choose the destiny helpers it is god that brings you the moment you try to choose destiny helpers 90 percent of the time you will fail because you will choose after the flesh you just see a man and say this man is my uncle let him be the one oh god to give me my house rent you already you've uh, you've aborted your opportunity from receiving there are eight billion plus men on earth allow the wisdom of the spirit to direct you he can choose any man and if men are not available he will raise up stones the challenge with many believers is that we manifest auxiliary faith your faith already has the picture of people who you must force god to use to bless you unfortunately men have their wills and god will respect it are we together god can tell me today to bless you to pay your rent and i can choose as an act of my will to disobey god he will honor me but if you tie your faith to me you will suffer as if god is not helping you he came to mary mary we need your womb to birth jesus are you available mary would have said don't talk that nonsense don't ruin my marriage i'm already planning my marriage go and look for another woman the angel would have said, all right, I will take back the report to God. God, we met this woman and she's not interested. And you would have gone to another person. But Mary said, behold thy handmaid. He said, be it unto me. That means I agree to be that vessel. I've learned the futility of looking up to men for help. Help will always come to men, but not the men you choose. Allow the wisdom of the father of spirits to be the one to choose men and he will carry a man from us and bring him to your village to help you are we together do you believe this if you don't believe this you are going to see you, your life will be surrounded by disappointments what if the person you are trusting on dies what now happens to you They looked unto him and their faces were lightened. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I remind you as we begin to pray that every help you are going to be receiving tonight, it does not come from Joshua Selman. It doesn't come from Koinonia. It only comes through Joshua Selman. It only comes through this house. There are thousands, thousands of people gathered in this place tonight. Thousand others following online. It will be evil of me to claim that it will come from me to you it will only come through me to you there is a mighty god you know what the word el shaddai means el shaddai means multi-breasted one if you understand it literally no woman can feed more than two children breast milk at the same time that is her limitation but the one called multi-breasted means somebody does not have to suffer because he's feeding another are we together he's large enough in supply for everyone to enjoy that blessing at the same time if a woman has triplets at most she can only feed two at the same time am i right one will have to wait hungry but have to wait until two or one is satisfied because she's not el shaddai but when you call god multi-breasted one you are saying no matter how many children he has it is within his capacity at the same time that means someone's rising will not have to suspend another person's rising it is El Shaddai are we together now it's a very powerful name that he has it then means whilst you are shouting amen and you are seeing God move in the life of your neighbor you should know that his miracle is not interrupting your own at all El Shaddai more than sufficient 
Don't say two people have received the grace for favor. Maybe it has finished. Uh -uh. God is not Isaac. That when Jacob came, he said, is there no blessing left? With God, there is abundance. Abundance. He will speak to one and speak to one again. And speak to one and speak to one again. There is no exhaustion with him. That's what makes him God. I have searched and searched all the earth. Searched and searched all the earth. And I found that Baba Wani Kamara. I have searched and searched all the earth. Searched and searched all the earth. And I found that Baba Wani Kamara. Truly I have searched and searched all the earth. Searched and searched all the earth and I found that It's a confession in this house There's no other God besides you Search and search all the earth. Search and search all the earth. You will find that Babu Wali We have searched and searched all the earth. Searched and searched all the earth. And we found that Babu Wali There is no one like him. No one like him unlimited mighty able to save to the uttermost able to heal able to deliver listen listen to me there is one attribute of God that I fear not is a holy reverence the one who opens doors I tell you if you have not known this about God then you've not been a Christian for a long time when God vows to open a door, woe betides the man that stands behind that door. You see, I have taught you here that there are three ways of opening doors. I don't know who I'm prophesying to, but I, as I said this, I just sensed an anointing that there are certain doors that have refused to open. And those doors can be men. They have refused to open. He is called the father of spirits. Listen, there are three ways to open doors. The use of correct keys, number one, by knocking through relationships, number two, but the use of force. The Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. They sang loud enough for the jailers to hear them. And suddenly there was an earthquake. It rattled the foundation of the prison. And the Bible says immediately all doors, how many doors? Financial doors, relational doors. All doors, career doors, all doors open. Turn it into prayer. Lord, open doors for me. Open doors for me. Let it be clear that I met you. Come on, pray. While you are seated, pray. Open doors for me. You can open doors. Career doors. I have been stagnated. Open doors for me. If I depend on men, shame will be my lot. But my God and my King, you are able to open doors. Outside pray, inside pray, open doors for me. You're not a man, no. Oh. You're not a man, no. Oh. Keep praying. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, oh, you're not a man, oh. You're the God of everything, no one like you. No one like you, Jesus, no one like you. No one like you, is there no one like you? No one like you, Father. No one like you, Master. You're the God of everything. Someone is praying. Doors are open.
harmony. No one like you, Jesus. No one like you. No one like you. Is it? No one like you. No one like you. No one like you. Open doors, oh God. You're not a man, oh, you're not a man, oh. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, oh, you're not a man, oh. You're the God of everything. Listen, please listen to me. Listen to me. Sometimes doors do not come close because it is an attack. It comes close because it is a new realm. When you buy new things, they are sealed. They are not sealed to hurt you. They are sealed as a sign of authenticity that no one has gotten this. There are, if you buy a drink and it's open, sometimes they tell you if this product has been tampered with, return it back because it means it's not new. There are certain closed doors now. It's not an attack. It's because no one in your family has entered before. You are the first who will be opening that door. Who am I prophesying to? In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, I call upon he who has the key of David, the one who opens a door that no man can shut and shuts a door. Every door that has been closed over your career, over your life, over your destiny, I declare, Efata be open. 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 Be open. Be open. Doors of strategic relationships. Be open. Doors of strategic finances. Be open. The treasures of darkness. The hidden riches of secret places. Be open. Doors of career. Be open. Doors of destiny help us. Be open. In the name of Jesus. Someone shout open. Shout open. Shout open. Shout open. Listen to me. Please don't be distracted. Something is happening in this place. Look at me. Every city you see has gates in the spirit and doors in the spirit. Just because you are there does not mean the gates are open. Now you see, if you grew up in the north or you have had encounters with the north, you will know that when you are entering most of the northern states, you will see like city gates. Am I right on that? Sometimes there are no doors. Until you pass that, most of the people believe that you have not entered that city. You will see maybe welcome to Kano or welcome to whatever. Those gates, it was an ancient principle. There are many people who are in Abuja here, but in the spirit you are not yet in Abuja. So you cannot eat of that which belongs to those who are here. Are you ready for gates to open and doors to open? Listen, I have seen territories where the inhabitants never eat of the blessings of the land. It is only strangers that eat of it. I have seen families where the children never eat of the blessings of the land. It is strangers that eat of it. We are going to pray that prayer. There's an anointing on these open doors. Open. God has opened some doors in my life as a person and as a man of God and I know the benefit. Ten years can be compressed in one month under an open door. I am telling you. Are you ready to pray? Say Father. Shout it. Say Father. In the name of Jesus. Strategic doors in this season that I must enter. I declare them open now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I declare them open. Everyone pray. Be serious. 
online pray US pray Canada pray Kenya pray South Africa pray Ghana pray Lagos pray every door strategic doors relational doors financial doors spiritual doors Take a minute to pray. All doors open in this season. All doors open in this season. Open of your own accord. Open unto me. Open for a new season. Open for greater influence. Open for greater kingdom impact. All doors open. Strategic doors open. Relational doors open. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Be seated for one minute. Be seated for one minute. My God, fire is burning in this place. Be seated in this place. This testimony of open doors, you will see how many people will come and stand here. Hallelujah. Let me tell you what happens when a door opens. There is no restraint again. An open door means access to the next level. All the rooms in a house are separated by doors. Just because you are in a house does not mean you will enjoy every provision in that house. You can be in the living room, but the door that leads to the kitchen is closed. And if it does not open when you are hungry, you will be in the house and be dying of hunger. The door to the restroom can be closed. When you are pressed and you need to ease yourself and that door is not open, it brings discomfort. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to bring all those that the power of God will rest on them now. Whilst you are seated. Whilst you are seated. Whilst you are seated. I want to make a declaration. This is not just for individuals. All these people are representing families. I'm seeing in the spirit, families tied down by chains, doors that have closed over them. This is what God is revealing to me. I want you to bring them out. Every family here, not just, you are individuals, but you are representing families. No one has been able to go forward. There is an embargo that has sat upon families. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call upon El Shaddai. I call upon the warrior. Whilst you are seated, anyone here under territorial closed doors that have tied you down, tied your family down right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost, let it descend upon that family now. Let it descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Bring them out. Descend upon that family now. In the name of Jesus. Descend upon that family now. My God, in the name of Jesus, he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Tied by witchcraft, tied by ancestry, tied by bloodline, in the name that is above all names. I say it again, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. You and your family, be delivered now. Open up the gate. Open up the doors. Will you open up the gates? Open up the doors. Shabala Gabara to Siakabara. Open up the gates. The Lord is ministering to me that there are a number of you here an anointing is coming on you is a barrier breaking anointing something that has never been done in your family you have seen it in your visions you are the one ordained to do it I don't know how many of those people are there but let that anointing rest on you now bring them out 
the anointing of a savior, the anointing of a breaker, the anointing of a warrior in the name of Jesus. Dimensions in the spirit that have never been crossed in your family, may you cross it now. Levels of wealth that have never been attained by your family, step into it now. Step into it now. Step into it now. Hallelujah. Listen. When Angel Gabriel came to Zechariah and said, you will have a son, Zechariah wanted to prophesy something else and he shut his lips. And then, when they were about to call him John, they said, no, you can't call him John. Nobody from this lineage has ever carried that name, John. Nobody from this lineage has ever been called prosperous. Nobody from this lineage has ever been called anointed. Nobody from this lineage has ever been called a genuine Christian. Nobody from this lineage has ever crossed primary school, secondary school. Nobody from this lineage has even gone outside Nigeria. I stand by the anointing, by the God who sent me. Anyone here who has been tied down, pegged down, that you and your family cannot go forward. I prophesy to you, go forward now. 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 Alenda kapara sata kebalako sabash. Rabada kabarako siata. Go forward. Go forward in ministry. Go forward in ministry. Anointed but under closed heavens. Go forward. I release you. Go forward. Go forward in career. 10 years without promotion. 15 years without promotion. Go forward now. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I'm hearing in my spirit Jubilee. Let me tell you what Jubilee is. Jubilee is an exodus after many years of captivity. Please listen. Listen, we're praying. We're praying. There is the spirit of Laban. Is the spirit that never allows men to go. It will encourage you with something to keep you small. But it will never allow you go and have your own space. It's a spirit that fights increase. When Laban saw Rachel, he liked her. And he wanted to marry her but Jacob knew that if he marries her he will go away and he trapped her down he trapped him down and the man kept serving when it was time to carry his wife they exchanged the wife for Leah and the man stayed again many years the spirit of Laban you won't suffer but you won't rise that is the spirit of Laban you won't beg but you can't give because you are barely enough I pray for you any house you have found yourself physically and in the spirit that is tying you down not allowing you to rise to live destiny tonight I declare jubilee I declare jubilee I declare jubilee I declare jubilee be released to go forward be released to make progress be released to make progress in the name of Jesus Christ Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, the Holy Ghost power. Isaiah 42 verse 7 Isaiah 42 verse 7 42 verse 7 to open the blind eyes and to bring out the prisoners from prison and them that sit in darkness out of prison houses Jeremiah 30 and verse 8 something mighty is about to happen here now for it shall come to pass in that day saith the Lord of hosts that I will break his yoke from off thy neck 
and I will burst their bonds and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. I want to pray right now. Before I pray for the sick, I'm going to pray for you right now. That anyone who came here, and I want you to please bring them out very quickly. Let's do this very fast. If the ushers are limited, or that maybe prayer department can help them so that they are not stressed. Do you know why we minister to people this way? You will have to be in the shoes of people to see the kinds of chains, chains that tie destinies, bondages that cannot be explained. One person from where the international visitors are, I'm seeing an anointing coming on someone. There is, I just saw fire where the international visitors are. Please, I want you to pick that person and bring the person out now. That, that spirit of witchcraft. We come against altars. We come against powers. We come against thrones, dominions. Every name that is named. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name. That is above every other name. He said that at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow of things in heaven, of things in the earth, of things under the earth. And every tongue confesses that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. You're going to shout the name Jesus. We shout that because it is the name that brings deliverance. It is the name that brings healing. It is the name that brings breakthrough. Please hear me. There are many of you who have come here thinking you are sick. You are not really sick. You are oppressed. Acts 10 38. Healing all day that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. It's an oppression. Mysterious diseases that cannot be explained. Your time has come now. In the name of Jesus. Someone is going to shout loud under the anointing. And that is not the shout. The shout is coming. And then I'm going to begin to minister deliverance to people by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Listen. God sent me for your sake. I want your heart to be open. There is no reason. No reason. When God wants to help you, he reduces the distance between you and a vessel he has anointed. Are you ready? That one shout, you will shout it just once. And every yoke, every devil, please make sure you bring them out very quickly. Prayer department, help ushers, please. We can't depend on, if you're in prayer department here, you are released, you are anointed to go and help do the work with Osha still in the name that is above all names and by the power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead I decree right now that everyone under the sound of my voice God you know how many people came here with with oppressions in their families you know how many people you sent here by your spirit whose destinies would otherwise not be opened you know how many people who have been asking for answers in the name of Jesus as your people shout everything that is not of God ordinances, curses, yokes, plagues upon plagues let it give way now at the count of three you are going to shout Jesus are you ready? one, two, three shout Jesus Break, break, chains break, break, chains break. In the name of Jesus, altars be destroyed, be set on fire. Over families, be set on fire. Over destinies, be set on fire. Over careers, be set on fire. At the shout of Jesus, 
be set on fire. Bring them out. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord is ministering to me. You have applied for jobs. There is nowhere you have not gone to. You have submitted CVs. But sometimes you even go for the first phase of the interview. But after that, everywhere is shot. In the name of Jesus, I declare, the power stopping you, cutting favor from you. As I speak right now, in the name of Jesus, that power is destroyed now. 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 The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing the map and I'm seeing Nasarawa state. There's someone you are from Nasarawa state. The plague of witchcraft has trapped you. Where are you from? Where is this lady from? Nasara state. Stand up. We hail you most high. Please give her the mic. My sister, where are you from? From Nasarawa state. Nasarawa state. Yes, I came from Lagos. But you are from Nasarawa state. Yes, sir. Nasarawa state. Yes, sir. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. From Nasarawa state. Not necessarily just her. When he says to one, he says to all. Nasarawa state. I'm seeing a mighty deliverance that is about to happen to families connected to Nasarawa state. I want to pray. Anyone who is from that state and has been trapped by witchcraft that you don't go forward. Horns that have kept you down so that your head is not lifted. In the name of Jesus, I declare right now, fire from heaven. Let it rest upon you fire from heaven let it rest upon you my glory the lifter up of my head but thou O oh Lord art a shield for me my glory you lift my head but thou O oh Lord art a shield for me you're my glory Help that lady. a police officer a police officer I'm seeing a woman police you are wearing red a police officer you're my glory confirm please verify is she a police officer there should be someone talking to them huh where you know sometimes people see these things and think that you are just not everybody is playing games so let me tell you listen to me not everybody is playing games. There are people who have been forged from the fires of affliction. Before you vet people, I want you to research on their journey with God. Not everybody is a joker. Do you understand? So I need to say this now because I know that sometimes they think everybody prophesying is just a joker. No. 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 What, where, when, what's your name? Garus, Bistrus. You're a police officer? Yes, sir. Where? First headquarters. Where is first headquarters? Louis Edith. You're all police officers. My sister, something is about to happen to you that will make you shed the tears of joy. I don't know you all, but you will see the wonder-working power of God. Who is Regina? I'm hearing a name, Regina. Regina. If it's not your name, don't come out here and say, I just came to be blessed. Please, let's be obedient. Obedience is better than sacrifice. If it's not your name, please. You will still receive. But if it's not your name, don't tell lies. We're in the house of God. Madam, is your name Regina? 
Huh? Come again. You are, okay, you're a police officer. No problem. Come. Regina. I'm hearing Regina. Your name is Regina. Where are you coming from, madam? Je parle français. I speak in okay. French. Okay, somebody, she needs an interpreter. Where are French people? Please, quickly. Don't worry. Let her be comfortable. PR, please, let's have a French person. She can speak the French and then we'll have someone interpret. Let me be ministering to this one first where she can be patient. Your name is? Gina. Regina. Yes. My dear, shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Everything that would have killed you in August by the power that raised Christ from the dead, these dreams you are having of seeing dead bodies, I stand in the name of Jesus. Right now, let the spirit of death help her. I cast that spirit out of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Suleiman. I'm hearing a name, Suleiman. Suleiman. I'm hearing a name, Suleiman. What is your name? Suleiman. Yes, sir. From where? From Ogun State, sir. Come again? Ogun State, sir. You are Suleiman from Ogun State? Yes, sir. Is that where you are from? Yes, sir. Your parents named you Suleiman? Yes, sir. You are from Ogun State? Yes, I was born a Muslim, sir. Oh, you were born a Muslim? Yes, sir. I see. The call of God is upon your life. Are you hearing me? There is the mighty hand of God that is upon your life. He's going to raise you to be a mighty vessel. Go and read Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 5 to 12. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 to 12 is a mandate God is giving you. He will train you, but you will become a mighty vessel in his hand. Do you believe that? Yes, sir. Police officer, my sister, I'm seeing you climb a ladder in the spirit. This lady, what did you say your name is? Huh? Gyros Beatrice. Gyros Beatrice. Where yes, are you from? Sir. Plateau State. You are from Plateau State? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, I declare over you, as Amen. God has revealed to me, what he says to one, he says to all. Everyone interested in climbing that ladder, because the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light. As God is speaking to her, this officer, I decree and declare, whatever is stopping you from rising, we bury it now. We bury it now. We bury it now. My dear, I release grace upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Find favor with your superiors in the name of Jesus Christ. The officers, I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead and in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare you will not die in service. The Lord will preserve you. This woman placing her hand on her head, I rebuke the spirit of death, you. I curse it now from you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I curse it now from you. Because I'm seeing this woman go somewhere, not returning back again. Hallelujah. There is a gentleman here. You work in a tech company. You work in a tech company. All the people who are involved in apps and all of that. I want to pray for you. Because I'm seeing you. I, you don't have to come out. But I'm seeing a gentleman. I'm seeing you leave to the US. And God is connecting you with a big tech firm. And he will lift you there. And because of that, I'm seeing you lift your loved ones. This is a gentleman. You work in a tech firm. Wherever you are, in the name of Jesus, the God who reveals is also the God who performs. I declare, let there be a performance to this prophetic word. Let there be a performance to this prophetic word. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a court case over land. This is what I'm seeing. I can imagine that with the crowds here, the probability is high that there's some kind of land thing, but there's, this is a very huge property and there is a court case over it. This is a family property and there is a court case over it. And the Lord is telling me to declare mercy so that it will not be taken from that family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree by the power that raised Christ from the dead, 
because you have come here tonight may God show you mercy 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 the Lord is speaking to me are you ready to interpret okay go ahead so let her speak and then tell her to speak and then you interpret let's okay if I can do it so she's called Regina okay and we are from Congo Brazzaville. Oh, you are her husband? Yes. You're we are most welcome. We are God from bless you. Congo Brazzaville. Oh, you are from Congo Brazzaville? Yes. I see. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to pray for you. Okay. What do you do? I work for the World Food Program. I'm the Deputy Country Director. Okay. And I work with um, Pastor Timothy Adeyinka. Ah, I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah. I'm going to pray for you and your wife, you. Regina. Yeah. The month of September. It's a strange month of breakthrough for both of you. Please go on. Can you tell her? Let her. Is she hearing me? I need her to believe. Tell her that I said so. You don't have to say it with a mic. It's your wife. So talk to her. In the name of Jesus, for you and for her, the month of September, from September 15th upwards, my God is going to open strange doors for you. And I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit. You came from Congo, Brazzaville. Listen, my friend, you will return back here and you will testify, you and your wife, in the name of Jesus. Let strange doors be open for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let strange doors be open for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm about to pray, but the Lord is showing me someone. Your mother has cancer. We're going to pray, but there's someone, your mother, has cancer your mother has cancer father in the name of jesus whether mama is here or connected online i'll soon be praying for the sick now you see this cancer thing here eh, is a killer spirit that thing is not sickness oh it's a demon sent from hell because once it comes upon you the first thing it does is to stop the progress of your life the second thing it does is to devour your finances and that of all those around you then finally take your life is that sickness that's not sickness that is the character of satan it steals it kills and destroys whatever steals kills and destroys is a thief and it's not a thing it's a person i use the opportunity to pray for everyone suffering the plague of cancer he said, with long life will I satisfy you and show you my salvation. I'm praying right now. Lung cancer, breast cancer, prostate, all kinds of demonic cancers by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Hence God has revealed it. I declare healing now. Hence God has revealed it. I declare healing now. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a lab coat and a stethoscope and the Lord is saying I should pray for all the medical people I often I would usually not do this but if you are a doctor here please come out something is about to happen in the world of doctors if you are if you are not a doctor and you come here we'll send you back please you are a doctor doctor listen to instructions doctor please come let's celebrate them as they come you are a doctor medical doctor you can stand you don't have to kneel Hallelujah. I'm not a prophet of doom. And I'm careful when I say things like this. But as I'm standing right now, I'm seeing coffins and I'm seeing lab coats on them. I don't know what it is, but this is doctors just dying like this. Not doctors, medical doctors. And the Lord is saying to pray for them. Let me give one minute. Please hurry up. We have a lot to do. If you're a doctor, please. You should be healthy and agile. If there are doctors outside, those following online, you're a doctor, please connect. I want to pray for you. There are arrows that fly by day. There are noisome pestilences. It is not unusual for Satan to want to strike you because you are the ones who midwife the healing power of Jesus. Doctors, please come. Not doctors in training. Doctors. If you are still in medical school, God bless you, but we pray that you will become a doctor one day. But doctors practicing.
doctors, please. I'm seeing a coffin and I'm seeing a lab coat on it. Lab coats. Lab coats. This is like a doctor passing. This is not just a koinonia thing. Oh. I'm praying for the body of Christ. Let me tell you the truth. The purpose of the prophetic, if done with integrity, is not to create fear and it's not to deviate people from the patterns of Christ. Prophecy exhorts. Prophecy comforts. Prophecy gives direction. Are we together? Doctors. Let's stretch our hands towards them in one minute. Pray like you are praying for your sister. Pray like you are praying for your brother. Doctors will not die. Whatever this vision means, one thing we know is that there is a name that is above all names. And no doctor here is appointed unto death. Not by the same sicknesses they are treating and not by a demonic plague that will move like a virus and kill them. Go ahead and pray. Koinonia pray. We're a responsible ministry. We stretch our hands over these doctors as a point of contact to all other doctors and medical practitioners. Every plague that hell is preparing to kill and destroy doctors by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we avert it now. We avert it now. We avert it now. We avert it now. They are instruments of God's mercy. God will preserve them as such. They are instruments of God's grace. God will preserve them as such. They are instruments of longevity. God will preserve them as such. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare using you as a point of contact to those who are falling online and the many medical practitioners we have by the power that raised Christ from the dead. While you minister to us by priesthood, I speak, leave. Leave and not die. I speak the blessing of Reuben upon you. It says, let Reuben live and not die. And let his men not be few. I say to you again, let Reuben live and not die. And let his men not be few. One more time, let Reuben live and not die. And let his men not be few. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Please return back rejoicing. 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 Hallelujah. Return back rejoicing. I struggle to share this vision, but my conscience will not allow me if I don't share it. We need to pray. Yesterday, while I was praying, I saw a vision and I saw that the devil wants to bring back something in this nation that once happened. The era of bomb blast. I saw this in my vision. And the Lord, it, it came as if it was something physical that I was there. And the Lord said I should pray. This is not to scare you. Again, prophecy does not bring fear. Are we together now? Yes, the dominion power of the word is greater than anything we see. And the purpose of revelation is to bring salvation and redemption. But I saw this, that there is a plot again to revive this thing about bomb blasts again. The church has the authority to stop this devilish thing. Are we together? The nations are crossed and the nation is already going through too much. Every bloodthirsty spirit hear what I'm saying it was here I stood last year and I preached I shall not want I told you that I had a vision and in that vision that I saw that there was going to be a lot of economic hardship and even as a ministry we said we'll take responsibility and thankfully we're able to partner with CSS farm to be able to do something small I'm not somebody who comes on air and wastes my time I respect God but I also respect myself are we together the teaching ministry is enough for me. The miracle ministry is enough for me. But if I come out here to tell you God said, then it's not only because I saw, 
is because he's impressed it upon my spirit. Are we together? You have invested your trust and your loyalty. I will not come and play games, not at this point of my life in ministry. Why is God revealing this? So that we'll pray. I'm going to pray for the sick, but we are going to pray. Pray so that it will not be where you are there. Remember how Mordecai warned Esther. He said, don't you think the plot of Haman is just for all of us. God has brought you for such a time as this. Number one, we are going to pray. This nation is God's nation. For the sake of the elect, God will preserve his name. Number two, we are going to pray. Anybody working with elemental forces to resurrect something we have casted out of this nation, we are going to ask the earth to open and swallow them. You don't like that prayer, but keep quiet while I do the praying. In the name of Jesus, are we together? And then number three, we are going to pray for the armed forces, defense, police, civil defense, for wisdom, courage, and grace. You may not know how these people labor until you have a husband or a brother or a child that while they are sending them to go and fight, you don't even know whether they will return back. Are we together? Can we lend our voices to pray? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Blood testy spirits over the soul of Nigeria. Blood testy spirits over the soul of this nation to resurrect mayhem, to resurrect evil, to resurrect death. In the name of Jesus Christ, whether as sacrifices or demonic orchestrations, we call upon God who is a jealous warrior. Arise for your namesake. God reveals to redeem. Arise for your namesake. In the name of Jesus, arise for your namesake. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, we avert evil. We avert evil. We avert evil. We avert evil in the north, in the south, the east, the west of Nigeria. We avert evil in Abuja here, the F city. Our going out and coming in is blessed. In the name of Jesus, we pray for the law enforcement agencies, grace, integrity of service. In the name of Jesus, that perpetrators of mayhem will be apprehended and brought to justice. We empower them by prophecy. We empower them with wisdom. We empower them with grace. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Use this opportunity to declare the covering of the blood over yourself and your loved ones. Mention them my name. My child will not die. My mother will not die. If they leave my house in the morning, they will return in the night. If they leave my house in the morning, they return in the night. If I take a flight, it will not crash. If I go by road, there is no accident. In the name of Jesus, blood tested spirits walking through evil men walking through wicked men it will not come near my dwelling not the arrows that fly by day nor the moisture pestilences nor the destructions that waste in noonday in jesus name in Jesus' name. Your business can only thrive when there is peace. Your business can only thrive when there is peace. Are we together? You can only go to school when there is peace. Satan wants to fight the soul of this nation, but the devil is defeated. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are still witnesses and envoys, preservers of God's purposes. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. I want to pray for the sick now. And I want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for healing. It is a major reason why you came here. Lay your hands. Matthew 4.24. Matthew 4.24. I want to pray for the sick now. And his fame went throughout all Syria. Be seated for a moment. 
and they brought unto him all the sick people that were taken with diverse diseases and torments and those that were possessed with devils and those which were lunatic and those that had the palsy and the Bible says he healed them everyone say he healed them in Matthew chapter 9 and verse 35 profound scripture Matthew 9 35 and Jesus went about all the cities and villages teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people healing every sickness and every disease among the people why is the healing ministry important hallelujah the first sign that accompanies the preaching of the gospel according to matthew 10 and verse 8 was heal the sick as you go preach saying seven the kingdom of god of heaven is at hand prove the validity of that kingdom by number one healing the sick the healing ministry is beyond the demonstration that the man of god is anointed or powerful every manifestation of sickness is death is a measure of death being ministered to your body and i told you that there is a requisite level of health you must have for your spirit to remain in your body are we together if your body is so deteriorated that it cannot carry your spirit then a separation will have to happen whether it is your time or not we call it untimely death so when god heals he's not only demonstrating his power it is his commitment towards your well-being and your longevity some of you may not even know you are sick but as you are soaking in that atmosphere that seed the devil wants to plant before it arrives it goes back to hell from where it came from are we together now now place your hand there's a reason why i'm asking you not to stand place your hand for you or for your loved one you can stand for your loved one you are in this place outside all the overflows down to the basement and those who are connected across the globe those who are connecting airing this program in various hospitals here is your chance now you can put um the, the whether your screen or phone whatever on the sick person let them be able to hear provided they can hear i want to minister the healing power of jesus right now already in the course of the service many things have happened i'm going to pray for you very quickly when i do the power of god will rest upon you i want you to check yourself the moment you see that the power of god has come upon you very quickly we have to take a few testimonies to give witness to the resurrection power of jesus don't sit back when a miracle happens someone's faith is depending on your testifying so i'm going to pray when i pray and release the power of god whether you came here earlier on or now that i'm praying you will check yourself inside or outside if you need to confirm your sickness there's a medical stand outside of this auditorium by my left doctors are there to verify and the moment that happens i'm going to pray for you by the word of knowledge i will mention cases and minister to you but receive remember what i taught you the manifestation of your healing is about to happen through prophetic words as i speak to you like elisha directed naman some of you laying your hands some of you whatever the holy spirit will decide make sure that you receive don't just say amen make sure you are receiving it's like someone who is swallowing a pill you expect it to work and the moment that miracle happens in your body i want you to leave your seat when i ask you to and come and stand either by my left or by my right let's take a few testimonies to glorify the name of the lord then we'll pray over the requests we'll speak over you and we're done but someone came today traveling distances miles kilometers to receive the healing power of jesus perhaps for you it may not be a financial problem you are just plagued with some kind of sickness hiv cancer bone problem eye problem ear problem are we together all kinds of blood conditions hepatitis lumbar spondylosis weakness in your body heart palpitations 
parts of your body not able to move again glaucoma cataract doesn't matter in what form or what fashion your hair falling memory loss some of you are here with autistic children trusting for a miracle some of you when you stand for long you start feeling dizzy hearing problems seeing problems in the name of Jesus it doesn't matter what it is called provided it has a name it has a knee and it will bow to the Lordship of Christ are you ready now place your hand there believing I want to speak over your life believe in the resurrection power of Jesus for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is the Lord that heals the Lord that lifts from the bed of affliction the Lord that restores life and health to your flesh the one who brings health and brings cure now I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ who is the son of the living God every spirit that is at the back of any infirmity every spirit that is at the back of any disease any spirit that is at the back of any bodily affliction by the power that raised christ from the dead i declare you leave these bodies now 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 in the name of Jesus now I pray for every blind eye here inside and outside I command that blind eye to be open now thank you Jesus I command every deaf ear every hearing problem by the power that raised Christ from the dead begin to hear now HIV be healed now Amen. hepatitis be healed now Amen. heart problems painful you cannot even lie by your left lie around your heart area in the name of Jesus let the power of God search through your body now Amen. urinary problems you keep you cannot stand for long and then you want to ease yourself again this is what i'm saying the lord is healing that person right now Amen. urinary problem be healed now Amen. in the name of jesus christ Amen. i've seen this many times while ministering you are a lady you don't have children yet you are lactating you are not breastfeeding a child yet you are lactating you are producing breast milk in the name of jesus the power of god is touching you right now there's someone you are not deaf but there is a noise you hear in your ear sometimes it's as if you know how a television is about to start that noise a very discomforting noise is lasted for many years the Lord is healing you right now severe migraine headache is being healed now in the name of Jesus there is someone you have what the medical doctors call appendicitis 
it's not yet gotten to the stage for surgery but you're already beginning to feel severe pain by your right side sometimes you have to hold yourself because of excruciating pain the power of God is touching you right now do you believe my prayer the power of God is touching you right now every bone condition if you came here and you could not walk or you could not walk well you are using an aid you are using a crutch you are using a wheelchair or you are using any kind of aid as I'm praying right now I want you to begin to test yourself and start walking begin to test yourself and start walking begin to test yourself and start walking in the name of Jesus Christ begin to test yourself and start walking I'm praying for someone it looks like goiter but it's not goiter you're beginning to have a swelling around your neck area I'm not a medical doctor I don't know what it is I'm just seeing it in my vision in the name of Jesus Christ right now let that growth dissolve there's someone I'm seeing you have around your armpit not directly just around your armpit there is something that looks like a lymph node it's grown there and it's refused to go back the power of God is coming upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare every sickness every disease peptic ulcer be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now there's someone you cannot you can't bend over there's severe pain looks like a sharp pain around your back I'm praying for you right now the power of God is coming upon you in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know if it's you or someone connected to your family but there is a problem of incoherence it's like a psychosomatic problem sometimes the person loses himself and begins to speak anyhow but returns back to his right senses shortly after I don't know who that person is whether you or your family member I'm seeing it the power of God is touching that person now I bring you life and I bring you healing I bring you life and I bring you healing I'm seeing someone one of your molars there's severe pain severe pain really painful right now as I'm speaking to you you will check that pain and not find it again in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now whether I mention your case or not by the power that raised Christ from the dead I decree and declare be healed now someone say I am healed shout it say I am healed in the name of Jesus say it again I am healed in the name of Jesus say it for the last time I am healed in the name of Jesus now I want you to check yourself very quickly very quickly the power of God is resting upon you I want you to check yourself very quickly the moment you find out there is a miracle if you need to go out do that quickly we have just about five to ten minutes just to take these cases it's important that we take testimonies so don't rob us of an opportunity to have those testimonies those of you outside those in the overflow and those connecting from any nation a miracle has happened to you right now while we are collating the request I want you to leave your seat we're going to begin to appreciate them please leave your seat and walk right to my left someone stand by the left or the right and let's have a few people who have been touched by the power of God come to testify please check yourself if you need to check yourself let's celebrate them as they come you check yourself the moment you see that a miracle has happened don't be ashamed don't be afraid please make your way to my left or to my right let's appreciate them as they come very quickly now while this is happening while this is happening how many of you have written your prayer requests please if you are yet to write your prayer request let me give you a minute or two pen down your prayer request you need your neighbor to assist you please do that those who are coming for testimony please vet them if they are for testimony then allow them come let's take at least a testimony one or two I'm seeing a few of them come let's celebrate them as they come if you are coming from outside please double up hurry up check yourself you see that there's a miracle Jesus has touched you you could do what you couldn't do it before in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ we'll do this very quickly creator of the universe what can't you do what can't 
Please, let's check them quickly so that we'll have a few uh, testifiers who we'll give witness to what Jesus has done tonight. If you're coming from outside, you can come to my left or my right. If there are too many people there, some of them can shift to the left so that we just do that quickly. We have five to ten minutes. The reason why we do this is because we owe it to God to give him thanks. When we minister his power and people are touched, we owe it to give him thanks. Let me know when you're ready very quickly so that we'll take the testimonies. Whilst we're doing that, please make sure you write your request. Those following online, I'm sure there should be a way of sending your request. We'll collate everything and pray. I like to pray over the requests because it is the most accurate representation of your desires. We'll do this very fast, the Lord granting us grace. Please let me know when we're ready and then we'll take the testimonies. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm hearing the cry of a baby. I'm hearing the cry of a baby. This is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing the cry of a baby. Everyone here trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus, I declare that that is the cry of your baby. That is the cry of your baby. You will think I'm joking until you come to stand here testifying. I say it again. That is the cry of your baby. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready? Please go ahead very quickly. Apostle. Please listen said, to the following testimonies to the glory of Jesus. She said she has been having excruciating pain for the past two months. When she was to come and give her tithe, she struggled using the staircase. But now the pain is gone. She where could bend and where were you seated, my dear? Up. Up. Yes, sir. And you couldn't come out. Check yourself now. Any pain? Move around. Any pain? Let's give Jesus praise. He's the doer of every good thing. Sit. Come I again. Could, I couldn't sit. You couldn't Pass. sit? Yes. And I, right now? I managed to sit with my side. And right now? Yes. In the name of Jesus, let's celebrate Jesus. I decree and declare your miracle remains permanent in Jesus' name. Please return quickly. Yes, please. Very quickly. Pain in Amola to heal. Let me hear her speak quickly. Um, I had um toothache. Toothache. Okay. The toothache. The yes. Bothers. And right now. Yeah. And right now. I'm completely. Here. I couldn't bite on okay. them before, but yes. now I can. But right now you are able to do that. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, Amen. you are healed now and forever. Yes, please. The same testimony, pain in Amola to Yes, I have a pain in molar. I usually use clothes when the oh, I'm, pain I'm starts seeing, and I'm then seeing, I I'm seeing it. you hold it. So How I long has this been? Over a month ago in class, everybody around me knows I just put the clothes and I put it. So immediately you declared, I used my tongue to remove it. And then I took water and I got my teeth to see if the pain was there. And the pain is and gone. And it's gone. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus. Are you celebrating what Jesus is doing? I decree and declare it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Okay, so I've been feeling pain for the past three years. For the past three years? For my back. It started with ulcer, but my back, I would stay for, I would say over the period of six months, I could not sleep. 
it caused me restless nights but this not, um tonight while you prayed you mentioned my case because i would have to touch my back at times check yourself now any pain any pain completely I'm bend relieved. down bend I'm forward very... is there any pain no, sir. i'm In very the... relieved come I'm, again i'm very relieved you are relieved now yes, let's celebrate jesus for him it never returns to you again by the power of the holy spirit oh. hallelujah yes please so I'll be having a, since 2019 when I'll be, I have an operation for appendix. Appendicitis. Yes. Okay. So sometimes if I'm doing something hard or if I'm praying like this, the place can pay me. Even right now, today I was praying too. It was affecting you, yes, the pain right from the surgery. Yes. And right now. Yes. But as he, as he prayed for us, uh, for me right now, he's gone. Completely. Yes. She's been having pain from a procedure that they had for her here. And now she's been healed. In Jesus' name, it will never return to you again. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. All right. So, Apostle, you gave a very accurate word of knowledge. Yes, sir. About someone actually lactating. Hello. Oh, dear. I've been lactating as for, loud as you can my dear I've been lactating for two months I'm not pregnant and I went to the hospital I was put on medication it didn't stop but now I went to confirm and it's gone so, yes mm. amazing in the name of Jesus my dear let me pray for you it never returns your body functions normally as designed by God and as I'm praying for her I'm praying for everyone every abnormal behavior of your body in the name of Jesus, we correct it now. Amen. Give Jesus praise. Let's celebrate Jesus. Okay, go ahead. Apostle God just visited this our little girl. She yes. said she will be 12 years old. 12 and years then old. She's been 11. Okay. And then she has been having cough and catachins. She knows herself. But most times her nose are blocked. Even when she came into the service, she was still coughing with cata. But now God has healed her. Her nose are not blocked again. What's your name, darling? Praise. Praise. Yes, sir. What happened to you? Since when I was born, every time I would be coughing and I would like I would be choked up in my throat. I would have yes. to cough it out and it would still come back again. And what happened to you now? I tried to like try to cough out, but it does it's not coming. Breathe out. in and out. Breathe in and out. Let's give Jesus praise. We decree and declare that you are healed forever. In Jesus' name. Celebrate Jesus. Next person, very quickly. This our brother came into the service very sick. In fact, he went to the medical center. They gave him drug, but he was still shivering. He couldn't stand. But as, as he was ministering, the power of God came upon him, and he's sound and whole now. Completely. So when, I, when I actually entered, my friend, she was seeing me. I was very, very okay. My, I even called my boss. My boss is here. When I called him, he said, where are you? Before I knew, he was already in already. When I moved in, I, later on, I begin to start feeling cold on my body. I begin to start shivering. When you start prophesying and you said, there are somebody here that enter. And when he entered, there are demon attacking the spirit. So when I just invite into that prayer, my mind was just telling me, just, just keep quiet. Nothing will happen. I keep on doing that prayer till that faith show up. Till Completely. That faith show up. I, I In a, look at this. Completely fine. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are healed. You are perfected. In Jesus' name I pray. One more and then you we'll You gave talk. a word of knowledge of somebody with noise in the right ear. Here noise is. in the right ear? Yeah. I'll be How long has that been? I've been for long now, this year. What's your name? Onyeka Martin. Okay. What happened to you now? It's gone totally. Completely. Completely. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Amen. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Pastor Jakes. Praise the Lord. I've been having migraine headache for, this is the third week now. At the right side of my head. Yes. And um, uh, the thing, sometimes it wakes me up at night, self. I started a midnight prayer so that I can be able to balance. And what myself. happened to you now? Uh, I, I, I when it stopped then, but now, like this period, it has been happening. So maybe just to quickly add, sir. Yes. He said every time he he, fi he finds it very difficult to shake his head. If he shakes his head, he begins to feel the pain. But now, no right pain. now, what happened to you? Shake your head. I'm not feeling anything at all. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare perfection of your health in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate Jesus as he goes to his seat. Yeah. So, sir, both cases of toothache, excruciating toothache being healed, one, three months, Do you one, know that years. tooth problem is painful? 
Are you aware of that? Huh? If you've had tooth problem, you can literally sit down as if you are sick. You will see food and you will not be able to eat. That thing is painful. So I'm saying that so that you appreciate what God is doing in the lives of these people. So tooth problems? Yes, sir. Okay. And now? For three months, I went to get cold water to check. but no you, Oh, problem. that's cold water you're yes, holding yes. to check? Yes. Did, have you taken it? Yes, I Take have. it now. Let's see you take it. Give Jesus praise. Healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Same thing with you? Yes, sir. For two years. Two years? Yes, sir. And now? Now I text with, I eat it in that side, but it's okay. Completely healed. With wound, with stomach pain. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Perfection by the Spirit of God. Yes, please. Very quickly. Amen. I came, my eye was itching me. Both. Your eye? Yes. Okay. But noun is completely gone completely gone which of them both 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 lay your hands there in jesus name i speak perfection to your eye Amen. by the power that raised christ from the dead Amen. in jesus name i pray Amen. god bless you yes please the next person let's celebrate him so don't be tired of clapping i had a boil on my... okay go ahead on my left eye but you had a she had a boil a boil on your yes, left eye but it's flat now how long has that been over a week and now completely flat completely I, gone i showed the medic yes i came okay you showed the medical people yes. my god look at that miracle she's had a boil in her eyes but it's gone just like that it's an instant miracle she came look at it this. where was it this eye i wish the camera was and and it's it's gone completely it's, it's flat now completely flat flat that devil has gone back to hell where Amen. it came from you will look for everything that has troubled you and you will not find it in jesus name god bless you in jesus name let's celebrate jesus my own also is this, my teeth problem teeth yes so as under the anointing i said since i said it started jacking me you fell then, under the anointing yes and what so, happened then after when you said somebody is healed of the teeth i hope my mouth so they started vibrating in my mouth. Started Your vibrating. mouth started vibrating. Yeah, the teeth and now? Now everything just vanished. You see that some head. of those things are not teeth problems. They are just demonic attacks. In the name of Jesus, you are healed, madam, Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, Benga, let's have a few. Let's have a few. I see a number of people there very quickly. All right, this is just a lump of many testimonies. Migraine, headache, back pains. The power of God, I see it, all of them. Listen, every... All of you lay your hands there. Every pain, be it migraine, be it back pain, be it um, any kind of pain, you are here to testify. In the name of Jesus, we celebrate with your miracles and we decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that it will never return to you again. In Jesus' name. So all those with pain, God bless you. Let's celebrate them as they return back to their seats. Hallelujah. Maybe let's have one or two more and then... Uh, um, that can be this our one. brother is here with his father they came in from he's Kaduna. here with the father yes. from from kaduna from kaduna yes yes please he, he, it's a sickle cell patient. let the father speak go ahead sir thank you sir it's my son my name is joseph Jan. my the son is J john joseph what uh, happened to him and what happened now john is, is sickle cell okay uh we're in kaduna state uh Polytechnic. One day I, I. No, no, no. Just summarize, guess, sir. Please. Just what he happened? He this... couldn't walk without a support. Oh, he couldn't walk without yes, support. Yes, that's that's where the miracle has begun in the service. Okay. He could, the, it okay. Was, it was when the apostle asked that there's a young man with hip pain, pain okay. in his back. So when I heard that, my I friend connected to his spirit. Oh, so I see. I started praying along. Then my legs started shaking. Look he's, at me. He's been scheduled for an operation for hip replacement. Oh, he's scheduled for a but, hip replacement. Yes, but they've not been able to raise the money. Look at this. Worthy is crying. your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. Just hold him, don't stress him. I see a miracle already happening. Hold on. This gentleman, let me tell you the story again so you understand. 
he's a sickler and you know how it is common with them and that he's scheduled for a hip replacement couldn't walk without aid and look what Jesus is already doing what's your name John Joseph John Joseph yes sir. in the name of Jesus I declare perfection over your body right now I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus I declare that you are released right now strength and health and vitality and not only are you healed from this we pray that God will change your genotype oh if you don't believe it you have not been in this house for a long time I say it again may the God of all grace change your genotype let me tell you the truth I've had the honor of taking care of families and children who are sickless it takes grace and compassion because almost every month once there's cold there's trouble once there's heat there's trouble are we together now we agree with you sir thank you for bringing your son we declare that this gentleman soon will come and give us the perfection of his miracle in jesus name god bless you let's celebrate them can we have one more are you ready for one more okay okay so we have some very outstanding testimonies okay. online please go ahead online apostle this is a letter from Botswana she says three days ago she started having heart palpitations yes and started having severe pain around her heart you mentioned by word of knowledge her case and immediately the pain left all the way from Botswana the let's give Jesus praise this is from Mrs. Elo from Finland she said apostle mentioned the pain that has to of someone who has to hold themselves on the right side my own had nothing to do with appendicitis yes but i had stomach pain right now it's all gone gone in the name of jesus this is from mary rose she said i noticed a lump on my right breast it was growing in size and at some point i could feel the growth whenever my hand brushes on my breast tonight as apostle asked us to place our hand on that place God did it. I am immediately and completely healed. Amen. This Amen. is from Jumoke Aruobu Soye. She says, I just received an instant miracle connecting online. I was di diagnosed with irreversible hearing loss, which I noticed has been getting worse. So her, her hearing has been downgraded. Yes, I understand. And she says she reduced the volume of the TV from 75 to 27 and she can hear perfectly and Hallelujah. clearly. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate her miracle. This is lastly from Precious in Bielsa. She says, praise God, my toothache that defiled medication is gone. I was, it was this bad because it is hereditary in the family. Everybody removes their teeth in the family. And she said, hold on. Don't let that statement pass <laughs> like that. Every demonic thing. It happened to father. It's happening to son. It wants to happen to grandson. It happened to grandmother. It's happening to mother. Every inherited trouble. In the name of Jesus, it dies here now. Release your faith. In the name of Jesus, it dies here now. Amen and amen. Immediately you mentioned the word of knowledge. Yes. You said, place your hand. She said she put her hand on her teeth and the pains disappeared. Instantly. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This brother has not been able to move his toes for two years. For two years. I was asking him what led to that. He said he just came. But as you were ministering, which of, God of came, them, my friend? Both of them. Both of them. Both of them. Yes, move sir. it now. For two years and now. He just he just came. I was just sick just all of a sudden. I've gone for a series of tests and they said nothing was nothing wrong. Nothing is wrong with you. It was spiritual. I was I've gone for certainly spiritual. From prayer house to prayer house and nothing happened. But when you said I should lay my You went to where? From from prayer house to Okay, okay, okay. I didn't hear what you were saying. Because I laid my hands and in the name of Jesus, I declare you are made whole this moment by the power of the Holy Spirit. I feel like prophesying something. I believe that um for God to have brought Her Excellency from Liberia, brought His Excellency from Aquaibom and brought Professor John Kennedy. I believe there is a kingmaker grace. I just sense in my heart. I just sense in my heart. We are people who have prophetic understanding. We are not careless in discernment. Hallelujah. 
I, I just sensed it in my spirit. Not everybody will be called to government or leadership or be called to use the tool of kingdom influence. But I believe that God allowed these ones to come as a message that I'm doing something. Are we together now? We are people of discernment. And I just want to stand and release that grace before we pray over this. The kingdom of God requires kingdom influence. And let me tell you, when it has to do with the grace for governance and leadership, at a national level, at a transcontinental level, you will need more than intelligence. You will need more than school brain. I take their presence here to mean a prophetic message. None of their coming was planned. It was by the Spirit of God. I just got word that they were all coming. And I, I see that as a prophetic message. And we are people of doctrine, but we have spiritual intelligence, understanding enough to know what God is doing. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, we stand in support of these graces. They have served. God has granted them grace. God has lifted them mysteriously. I'm praying right now, let this grace, this king maker grace that takes ordinary men and glorifies them and lifts them. I'm praying for someone, especially that your destiny and your assignment needs it. Let it rest on you now. You will not have to be their age to rise to their level of influence. I say to you, you will not have to be their age to rise to their level of influence. You will rise with the speed of Joseph. You will rise with the speed of Daniel. You will rise with the speed of Esther. In the name of Jesus Christ. The God that enthroned Joseph overnight. The God that enthroned Daniel overnight. The God that promoted Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego in Babylon. The God that promoted a village girl called Hadassah. That she became queen overnight. The God that took Gideon, a young man in hiding. The God that took Ruth lost everything in her life and in one moment i'm praying for you there is governmental authority there is grace that enthrones men to be gatekeepers captains of industry leaders in their field i say it again may that grace rest upon you may it rest upon you a king maker anointing may it rest upon you for some of you it will be like a dream. They will make you a director in your place of work. I say it by the power that raised Christ from the dead. It will be like a dream. My God will exalt you. It will be like a dream. My God will surprise you. It will be like a dream. My God will lift you. You will occupy strategic business positions. Strategic political positions strategic organizational positions strategic ministerial positions in the name of Jesus and hear me there are powers that fight influence I pray for you every power that wants to fight your relevance that it will be said you were once great yesterday and that greatness has diminished he said thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side he said the Lord increase you more and more you and your children I speak it over you increase your influence will not go down Ichabod will not be a language used for you in the name of Jesus Christ please stretch your hands over these prayers and begin to pray in the spirit Stretch your hands, pray in the spirit. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Pray. I'm going to kneel for one minute and lay my hands on your request. It's not a ritual. Pray. Something is happening to you. Honestly, hold on please. Hold on guys. Just one minute. I know we are praying, 
But this prayer I just prayed for you now. God has not finished doing the work on someone. I'm saying it again. A kingmaker anointing. Listen. Young people with strange influence. Strange influence. Strange influence. Hear me. Commanders of territories. As young people. Commanders of territories. Commanders of resources. Captains of industry. I prophesy to you from the spirit of grace. I know what it means to be lifted by God. May the lifter of men lift you. He will make your voice heard. That grace for influence, let it rest on you. Influence. Influence. Is it not because the Lord has anointed you to be captain over his inheritance? God can anoint men to be captains over his inheritance. Stretch your hands and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare, we decree and declare, these are the prayers of your people. The Bible says, unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. I decree and I declare right now, in the name of Jesus, are you releasing your faith? that every request here written, let it be turned to a testimony. A believer's amen. Every request here written, I bow my knees and I decree and declare, let it be turned to a testimony. Esther chapter 2 and verse 8. The Bible says, Esther chapter 2 and verse 8. Please quickly media. Esther chapter 2 and verse 8. It came to pass at the king's commandment and, it, and when the decree was heard, many young girls were gathered together unto Shushan, the palace, and they had the custody of Haggai, the keeper of the king's women. Verse 9. The Bible says, And Esther, the maiden, pleased him, and she obtained kindness of him. What was the result? He speedily gave her the things that she needed. I sense that the grace for speed for many people here. You see, let me tell you this. It is important for answers to come early. Answers can come late. He says, satisfy me early with your mercy. There is timing to things. You are trusting God for resources. It needs to come early. It's not when you die that it comes. I pray for you. Everything making your answers crawl to you. I declare speed right now. 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 Marital speed right now. Speed in giving birth to children right now financial speed right now ministerial speed right now speed in establishment in the name of Jesus Christ I taught you while giving you the charge that the delivery system of every answered prayer are men men ordained by God to serve as priests and destiny help us in the name of Jesus Every request here that needs a man to show up for you, wherever they are, in this nation or across the globe, the same way metals come to a magnet, I declare that they gravitate towards you. The same way metals come to a magnet, no matter where the metal is, when you pass a magnet, the metal looks for it. May the helpers of your destiny find you. May the helpers of your destiny bless you. May the helpers of your destiny lift you in the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare to you, standing on this request, these Egyptians you see today, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. Now receive this prophetic word. What you could not accomplish from January, to June, 
in the month of July, I stand by the God who sent me. Let the one month be like one year. Let the one month be like one year. Businessman, hear me. Let the one month be like one year. Let the one month be like one year. In the name of Jesus. Number two. Everywhere you have been forgotten. The Bible says where you have been forgotten so that no man will remember you. You become an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. In the name of Jesus. Let the book of remembrance be opened now. Open now. Do you know? The brothers of Joseph themselves thought he was dead. They lied to the father that he had died, but they themselves imagined that because they had not seen him in a long time, he is dead. The same way you think you have not seen certain results, you think it is over. You don't know that Joseph is becoming king somewhere. I'm praying for you. The Joseph that needs to connect with you, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let that encounter happen speedily. It was hunger that took the brothers of Joseph to Egypt. But when they encountered Joseph, they were not only fed. He said, call my father and come. They lived in Egypt in royalty. I'm praying for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You may be looking for a job, but may God give you beyond the job. Strategic connections. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I don't believe in poverty. So I'm going to speak over your life. I hate poverty. It is not of God. It is of the devil. It strips men of their dignity. I pray for you. The spirit that keeps men poor. Affecting your productivity. Affecting direction. And affecting capacity. I decree and declare. That spirit is banished from your life. I decrease upon you the power to prosper. The power to prosper. By favor, the power to prosper. By wisdom, the power to prosper. By value, the power to prosper. By relationships, in the name of Jesus. Every business here that is dead or dying, hear the word of the Lord. Jack back to life now. Jack back to life now. Jack back to life now. Anybody who is doing any construction project and it has marked time, you are not able to build it to completion. Let me speak to you. The hand of Zerubbabel that started that work, may that same hand complete it. May that same hand complete it. May that same hand complete it. Now hear me. You paid the price to leave everywhere you left to come here. I'm praying for you. In the name of Jesus, before you get home, I cry unto the God of my covenant. May a, may a, a, a boat sinking miracle be waiting for you at home. A boat sinking miracle, let it wait for you at home. I say it again, a boat sinking miracle, let it wait for you at home. Listen, we're wrapping up. I've taught you that who hates you does not matter. But who likes you in this kingdom matters. The person who needs to like you enough to turn shame to joy. I'm praying for you. Listen, I prayed that prayer. Maybe I should wrap up with this prayer. You can be gifted, but if you are serving a wrong audience, it is painful to serve people who don't understand your value. They will abuse what you carry. When God wants to show you mercy, he changes your audience. He brings you in the midst of those who have the value. Joseph interpreted the baker's dream. He remained in the prison. He interpreted the wine presser's dream. He remained in the prison. But when he interpreted the king's dream, same gift. I pray for you. You have been wasting your productivity on people who don't have the discernment nor the resources to honor you. May my God change your audience. May my God bring you to men and women who have an appreciation for what you carry. In the name of Jesus. And it's not too late to say this. Nobody will bury you. Oh no, not this year. You have no covenant with death. 
I say it again. No one under the sound of my voice is permitted to die before their time. I shut the gates of the grave in the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, the grace for favor in the name of Jesus, let it rest on you. God has shown me help and mercy. May favor rest on you. Rest on your ministry. In Jesus' name we pray. Wave your hands to Jesus. A wave offering to the King of Kings. Go ahead. A wave offering in gratitude that I am thankful for what you have done. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My final function here is to give someone a chance to know Jesus. Very quickly in the next one minute, no need to cajole, no need to flatter, you need Jesus. Listen please, and let's not distract those who are making the altar call. Don't allow yourself leave this ground without making it right with Jesus. You are in this place and you are saying, Apostle, I was invited or I have been here and whilst you were speaking, beyond the miracles, I need Jesus. For someone you are saying, I want to rededicate my life to Jesus. I came sincere to encounter him. Whether you are outside any of the overflows or here in the main auditorium, I'm going to count one to five. It is for your sake that we are taking a minute else or two to wait for you. Very quickly, leave your seat as we appreciate you. Carry your bags, your Bibles, everything you came to church with, and please make your way to the front. Let's honor them as they come. One. God bless you, ma'am. God bless you. God bless you, sir. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Let's celebrate them as they come. God bless you, sir. God increase you. Come. Come to Jesus. The Bible says, as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Are you celebrating a harvest, Koinonia? Come. God bless you. Apostle, I don't know if I'm saved. Can I join them? With all pleasure. Join them very quickly. You are not sure of your salvation. You know today that your ways are not right with Jesus. Make your way to the front. Apostle, mine is rededication. I want to rededicate my heart to Jesus. Please join them. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We have 10 more seconds and I begin to pray. So if you are coming from outside, please make it quick. Make it quick else you go to the projector, your projector screen and you stand there and for someone who is following from your home your office your vehicle watching from your device you can pray this prayer as i lead god's people thank you so much ladies and gentlemen for making this noble decision let me request that you please lift your right hand make it high above your head as a sign of surrender say this after me as loud and as clear as you can say lord jesus i love you with all my heart tonight i have heard your word i believe that you are the son of God I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I receive your life into my spirit and I declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever I am a child of God I go for whatever and backward never in Jesus name we pray keep your hands lifted father thank you for these precious people and the many who are making this declaration across the airwaves I'm praying in the name of Jesus Christ that on account of their declarations of faith we call them saved born again we call them bona fide recipients of the life of God the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over your life I empower you to live victorious Christian lives that from tonight you go for whatever and backward never in Jesus name we pray amen and amen please look to my right that will be your left you have counselors waving the placard they will have a word and a prayer with you very quickly and you're back to your seat let's honor them as they go thank you thank you hallelujah hallelujah now one final announcement and we're done thank you very much for your patience thank you for your patience um, we're just days left to the sound of revival 17th and 18th of July the United States 24th and 25th for Canada we bless the Lord 
And um, as a global family, please, everyone, it doesn't matter which of our expressions you find yourself all across the globe from any nation at all. Once you are part of this vision, we are in a season of intense prayer. Make sure that you sow that seed of prayer. You can join the prayer department on Tuesday. Um, I'm sure that part of their prayer will be dedicated to the sound of revival. And um, all workers, both here and the workers in the U.S., Canada, and please make sure you engage meaningfully. We are praying and trusting God for a harvest of souls and that he will step in and do a mighty work, bringing revivals and awakening. So make sure you pray. And um, even though we have the whole place sold out already for want of word, but the internet is a platform for everybody to follow. And so everybody should do the work of an evangelist. This is beyond likes and follows. We're not in that business. We need as many people who will hear the gospel and receive the truth and be converted by it. So please, it is your business to make the nations know that we're coming and this is what we're doing. Call your loved ones everywhere across the globe. My final charge is make sure you give. This is the responsibility of every believer. Make sure your seed, whether you're here in Abuja, you can use all the accounts, whether the Nigerian accounts, the US account, the Canada account, the UK account, anyone is one big family, but make sure that your seed is part of it. Hallelujah. No coercion, no manipulation, but it's a responsible kingdom thing. We've had all our bills paid, so we're not, we're not looking for money, honestly. God has been faithful, but it is part of the kingdom responsibility. He says, Cornelius, your prayers and your arms, make sure that your seed is part of it and um, the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. And to our family in America, make sure you are praying. Do the work of an evangelist. Pray, plan, prepare. And um, we're going to have an awesome time. It's going to be an outpouring of the Spirit. Again, 17th and 18th. That is a Wednesday and a Thursday in the U.S. And then we move over to Canada. We're doing 24th and 25th in Canada. And then we're back for the miracle service for the month of July. So it's what God is doing. And do not forget more details. I thought I would give the details in June, but I decided to be patient. Let's just finish the Sound of Revival, then we'll come. But know that our conference, the Koinonia Global Convention, is going to be the first time we're having it. It's in November. Do not forget. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The last week of November, and um, it's going to be an awesome time. So everyone across the globe, we're converging here and then all our various expressions and uh, more details will come for now i don't want us to distract ourselves we'll just focus on the sound of revival is the business of selling jesus to the nations we want to see revival break out we want to see awakenings please keep praying for us remember our philosophy in this ministry is that where one goes everybody goes so it's not joshua selman going it is koinonia going we're taking the light the power the grace of Jesus even to the nations have you been blessed tonight again I want to honor her excellency thank you so much for making the time your excellency sir thank you so much and professor John Kennedy thank you we honor you in Jesus name please let's stand to close the service I declare that your weak beginning is blessed the hand of God is strong upon you favor goes ahead of you in the name of Jesus you'll be the first person to rush to testify next week because of the abundance of the hand of God in your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Together as a family, let's share the grace one to go. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercies follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever. Amen. God bless you and see you next.